Dry Mixture Cellular Fiber Concrete, a material from the future. Cellular concrete is a lightweight, cement-based material containing many gas bubbles, evenly distributed and representing more than 20% of the whole volume of the material. Compared with traditional concrete, cellular or porous concrete is considerably lighter. Typical heavy concrete has a density of 2,400 kilograms per cubic meter, while cellular concrete can be made with various densities from 250 to 1,400 kilograms per cubic meter. The gas cellular concrete, CFC, is certainly the most convenient type of cellular concrete because it is produced from a prefabricated dry mixture. The ready-to-use dry mixture, CFC, is convenient in application. It can be packed in 25 kilogram bags so that it can be easily moved by a single person. It can be transported directly to the construction sites in cement trucks, mobile silos, or special vehicles with built-in mixers. Any concrete mixers, mortar mixers, or dry mix mixers existing on the construction market can be used for the preparation of cellular concrete from the CFC dry mixture. The material can be prepared even in a simple bucket with a handheld mixer. The cost of CFC varies depending on the geographical zone and depends on the different requirements. As a general rule, cellular concrete is much cheaper than traditional heavy concrete. Cellular concrete with low density is water resistant and is extremely suitable for application in the construction of the base of roads, for backfills and cut-off walls in sea and river ports, in areas of peat grounds, wetlands and other wheat grounds. Raw materials. The dry mixture, CFC, is produced from mineral raw materials, from sand, and from waste products of the petrochemical and metallurgical industries. The mixture is produced from Portland cement of any type, CEM1 or CEM2. The other main ingredient can be either sand or fly ash or metallurgical slag which contributes to solving the problem with utilization of these waste products. Production process. For the production of foam concrete, are mechanically mixed cement, filler, and prepared in advance, stable foam. The difference in the preparation of foam concrete and gas concrete is that the latter is produced with the help of a chemical reaction, which generates hydrogen bubbles creating many tiny spherical cells in the limestone, cement, sand mixture. The mixing of the components with water produces aerated cellular concrete with density varying from 250 to 1,400 kilograms per cubic meter. The uniqueness of the CFC dry mixture technology is that there is no need for a concentrated firm agent with water that would produce firm from compressed air with the special equipment necessary for the purpose. To prepare cellular concrete from the CFC dry mixture can be used practically any existing on the construction market concrete mixes, mortar mixes or dry mix mixes. The ratio of water to dry mixture for preparation of the suspension depends on the application and is determined by trial. 
as a rule, this ratio is in the range of 30 to 90 liters for each 100 kilogram dry mixture. The intense mixing of the CFC dry mixture with water leads to the preparation of the gas cellular concrete, which matures after it is poured, increasing its volume two to fourfold and gets its initial hardness. The mix of CFC with water is ready for forming of different construction products, blocks for walls, overhead covering and partitioning slabs, arches, and so on. There are no special requirements for the water used. Drinking water with room temperature can be used with no restrictions. Technical water, including water from the sea, can also be used. It is, however, recommended to check its chemical composition first. Hydrophysical Properties The cellular concrete from the CFC dry mixture is water resistant. It does not rot and is extremely durable. It can even float on water. Strength and Volume Weight the strength and the volume weight of cellular fibre concrete are interconnected. The less the volume weight gets, the strength decreases. The thermal resistance, however, increases. In a CFC production plant, it is possible to produce mixtures with different volume weight, varying from 250 to 1,400 kg per cubic metre. For example, cellular concrete with a volume weight of 600 kg per cubic meter has strength greater than 25 kg per cubic centimeter. Ecology The used raw materials for the production of CFC guarantee its safety for people and animal life. During its exploitation, cellular concrete does not emit toxic gases. Its hygienic properties are second after the hygienic properties of wood. Thermal insulation. The thermal insulation properties of CFC are three to five fold better compared to those of regular bricks and 15 fold better than those of steel reinforced heavy concrete. Cellular concrete helps avoid hot temperatures during the summer and reduces expenses for heating in winter. Fire resistance. Fire resistance makes CFC the preferred material for roof and floor insulation. It is perfect for building fireproof walls or coatings. The high fire resistance of CFC is determined by its mineral composition and porous structure. Application in roads, bridges, sidewalks. It is a well-known fact that frost heaving, one of the main factors for destruction of roads, bridges, tunnels and sidewalks, is caused by the capillary migration of water and its freezing at low temperatures. Weak grounds are another reason for destruction of structures. The long experience accumulated in Canada, the United States and England in the application of cellular concrete for construction of roads has proved its remarkable advantages. Cellular concrete considerably reduces, and in some cases completely stops, the influence of moisture on the structure, frost heaving. Cellular concrete forms a harder foundation if compared with gravel, which is an obvious advantage. The weight of the structure is greatly reduced, which is effective on weak sand and wetlands and, at the same time, the thickness, depth, of the road foundation is considerably reduced. Cellular concrete possesses liquid consistency and the roughness of the soil surface is not of great importance. The depth of the ditch is immensely reduced. Cellular concrete protects the foundation from softening in rainy weather. Calculations by the Canadian company Semetrix show that the thickness depth of the road base K 
can be reduced five times in case cellular concrete is applied instead of traditional gravel. cellular concrete is lightweight, it is simply irreplaceable in construction of abutments to bridges, in strengthening of approaches and construction of foundations under the bridge bearings, in bridge girders, in enforcement of embankments and as backfill for supporting walls. application in construction of pipelines. Cellular concrete protects pipelines very effectively from external forces, impacts, dynamic influence and so on, while at the same time it is a perfect thermoinsulator which allows reducing the excavation depth with an obvious economic benefit. CFC is also easy to cut with any type of tool including a hacksaw and to pour in the places of repair forming a monolith. Application in construction of sea and river ports. CFC is used in the construction of ports and moorings for backfills in cut-off walls. As the material is lightweight, hard, resistant to deformation and water resistant, it has proved its obvious advantages in the process of exploitation. Application in floors, walls, roofs. Floors of buildings are subject to different loads, wear and tear. Floors made of cellular concrete are multifunctional. Cellular fibro concrete is a reliable and long-lasting material for floors with its water resistance, sound and thermo insulation qualities and lightweight. Floors of CFC are free of harmful to men's health components. They are second after wood in hygienic properties. They are heat and fire resistant and at 1000 degrees Celsius they last quite long and do not produce harmful gases. Floors of CFC are easily repaired encapsulating pipeline, electric and other communications. Roofs determine to a great extent the length of life of buildings. Cellular fibro concrete which is lightweight possesses high heat and frost resistance and good thermo insulator qualities turns out to be a very suitable material for the construction of flat level roofs. CFC replaces the traditional multi-layer pie of flammable roll materials. The CFC dry mixture opens an even broader range of applications in the construction of houses, cottages and so on. Welcome to the world of nature-friendly construction materials, to the world of cellular fibro-concrete.